In this problem, we're given the acceleration function. And using these two points, we want to determine velocity function and position function. How can we do this? Well, here's some things you want to know. You could find the velocity function by integrating the acceleration function. And of course, you need to take into account the constant c. You could find a position function by integrating the velocity function. So that's how we could find these two functions by integration. So let's start with the velocity function. V of t is going to be the integral of the acceleration function, 12t minus 6 dt. The antiderivative of 12t. So using the power rule, if you want to find the antiderivative of a variable raised to a constant, it's going to be x raised to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, and then plus the constant c. So the antiderivative of t to the first power is going to be t to the second power divided by 2. Now for the constant 6, you could treat it like this. So negative 6 is equivalent to negative 6 times t to the 0. So this becomes t to the first power over 1, or simply just negative 6t. And then we need to add the constant c. So right now we have that v of t is going to be 6t squared minus 6t plus c. Now we're given a point in the velocity function, v of 1 is equal to 10. So using this point, we need to determine the constant of integration, our c value. So v of 1 is going to be 6 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus c. And we know that v of 1 is 10. So this becomes 6 minus 6 plus c equals 10. Now 6 minus 6 will cancel. So we get that c is equal to 10. So the first answer for this problem is this one. The velocity function is 6t squared minus 6t plus 10. So now that we have that, we can now calculate or determine the position function. So the position function is going to be the integral of the velocity function. And so that's going to be the integral of 6t squared minus 6t plus 10. So this is going to be 6. And then we're going to have t to the third over 3. The antiderivative of t to the first power will be t squared over 2. And for the constant 10, when we integrate it, with respect to t, it's going to be 10t and then plus c. So simplifying this expression, we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so forth. Now, let's use the fact that x of 2 is equal to 17 to calculate the constant c. So let's replace p with 2. We're going to set all of this equal to 17. So 2 to the third power is 8. 2 squared is 4. 10 times 2 is 20. Now, 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 4 is 12. Sixteen minus twelve is four. 
4 plus 20 is 24. So we have 24 plus C is equal to 17. Subtracting both sides by 24, we get that C is equal to negative 7. So we can replace C with negative 7. So this is the position function. So that's how we could determine the velocity function and the position function from acceleration by means of integration. So when you integrate the acceleration function, it will give you the velocity function. And you have to use this point to solve for c. Once you do that, you can integrate the velocity function to get the position function. Once again, you got to solve for c using the second point. So that's it for this video. For those of you who want more example problems like this, feel free to check out the links in the description section below.